morning or good afternoon. Welcome to Cultivate. I'm Colleen, and this is a slow, gentle flow. It's reminiscent a lot about how I start my mornings, and I think most of us would agree that in the morning, what is really nice is to do what the body wants to do and to let things unfold organically. So this flow this morning is about 20 minutes to 30 minutes tops. And if you need to modify anything, um, please go ahead and do that. We're gonna begin our class on all fours. Some gentle cat cows, breathing in as the belly drops, as the gaze comes up, and exhaling as you round. Following your breath in and your breath out. If there's any particular music that you like to listen to, a soft morning flow, that would be appropriate. Coming to a neutral spine. And turning your right hand so that your right thumb is pointing to the right edge of your mat. Circle your torso a few times, warming up the wrist. Switching directions. The body feels like it just needs to go through its motions at the early part of the day. Warming up all the creases parts. Right hand comes back to neutral, left hand, left thumb out, same idea, soft rotations in the torso. And the other direction. Back to a tabletop pose. Right from here, take the left leg behind you, press into the toes, press the left heel back, and the right arm out in front of you. Feel free to stay here or float left leg up. While we're here, take a peek at your left eye of your elbow and see if you can dial that a little more forward. Invite the low belly up and in. Say good morning to the core. The right hand comes down and take the left leg out to the side. Right away, notice if you want to drop into that right knee and hip and see if you can level out the body. Let the left foot come down onto the floor, out to the side. And then curl your right toes under and sit back. Modify child's pose. Hands come forward, forehead down to block or mat, stretching the inner groin and a great stretch from the bottom of that right foot. Hands slide closer and I'm back under the shoulders. Left knee down, inhale, cow. And exhale, cat. Ready for the other side. Right leg behind you, toes down, press back into the heel and lift the left arm. Staying here or as you're ready, float that right leg up for a dog pose. Becoming aware of the breath. The left hand 
comes down, and then the right leg comes out to the side. This is a big morning wake up here. Roots say good morning. Right foot comes down, right toes forward, and then curl those left toes, sit back. One leg out, one leg back, then drop in. One more breath. And then draw your hands back under you, right knee down, curl both sets of toes and lift to a gentle down dog. Separate the feet mat distance apart here. And then walk your hands back so that they are underneath your face. Left hand down on the mat, right arm weighs out to the side, a generous bend in that left knee, and roll through your right wrist. Snap, crackle, pop. And other side, right hand down, left arm lifts, roll through the wrist. Then begin to take this with your breath. Hand down, inhale, right. Exhale, right, hand down, inhale, left. Just as slow as your breath is moving. Excellent. And then heel toe your feet so that they're under your hips. Take the spine really long, forehead parallel to the floor, crown of the head drawing forward. No need to have the knees totally straight, but be aware of the weight coming into the toes to the low belly up and In your next exhale, allow the body to fold in half and pull your way out to a plank pose. Allow the knees to drop down, they will be behind your hips. And we're going to wake up the upper body and the arms as we lower down, like we're going to kiss the floor and then press back up. Lowering down. And pressing back up, lowering down, keep that back nice and flat, low belly up and in, two more, awakening upper body, chest, upper back, press back, traditional child's pose, Downward facing dog. Full breath in. Lift the toes. Exhale. Let the heels reach towards the mat. Inhale up on the toes. Exhale, press back in the knees. Again, just waking the body. It's been at sleep for a while, or maybe you've been at your desk all day, and this is your Return home from work practice before dinner, up onto the toes, tiptoe your way, top of the mat. Lengthen your spine and fold. Root to rise all the way up, and palms press at your heart center. I'm turning to face the camera. This is the place in my practice where it's appropriate to set an intention. I'm awake. I had my coffee for the body. 
in that gentle movement. Allowing the arms to breathe all the way up towards the sky and letting the body take the side bend over to the right. Right hand grabbing left wrist. And then coming through center, reaching and taking it to the other side. Coming back through center, and it's a forward fold all the way down. Halfway lift and fold. Roots rise all the way up. Drive the breath down, Uttanasana. Halfway lift. And as we fold, hands come down, the left foot is forward into this low lunge. And again, warming up through the joints by lifting and lengthening through that left leg and coming back into the low lunge. As simple as the breath, in and out, snap, crack, or pop, it's under those knees. And the fifth time, Drop that back knee, the right knee is down, hands to left thigh, and engage your glutes. And notice how just the act of engaging your glutes feels like a lift for the whole body. Squeeze and release. Squeeze and keep that as you lift the arms up. Modification hands on the side. Out, back in, back in, and out. Last one. Hands come down, frame the left foot, breathe the left arm up to the sky. Stay here if you wish. Touch your right foot. Release any bind that you have. Lift the right knee and step the right foot up to join the left. Halfway lift and hold. Bend both knees and sweep into chair pose with Tatasana. Sit back a little further and energetically separate your feet away from one another without actually moving the feet. Just engage. Breathe into the low back. more breath, sit back a little further, rise all the way up into the back bend, exhale, fold the tanasana, halfway lift, and we're ready for the other side, right foot is forward, left foot back, and we're lifting on the inhale, and dropping in on the exhale. Recognizing that each of us are different in the way that we awaken. I find my breath and my intention is better set after I move the breath. I'm less scattered, more focused. Allow that left knee to drop, and it's Anjane Asana on this side. And then the glutes, and the arms. Down, left hand down, 
right arm legs, optional bind in that right foot. Release the bind. Step the left foot up to join the right. Halfway left. And fold. Root to rise all the way up. And roll the way back. Halfway left. And fold. Stepping back to our plank, but dropping into forearm plank. Modification here is knees down. You can keep them lifted along with the belly. With her bowl. As a reminder to the body that we're going to be utilizing the floor throughout our day. Now the knees to come down, sphinx pose, a gentle back bend. Pay special attention to your feet, so root bend down. And all the way down, hands sneak alongside chest, press up the plank, and back to down dog. On an inhale, lift the right leg up, three-legged dog, square the hips, press the left heel towards the mat, and then open up through that right hip, you can bend the knee if you'd like, and then come back to squared hips. So we're just opening like a door and coming back, noticing this action on our left calf. One more. Right knee in towards the forehead. Plant the right foot. Spin the back. Warrior two. And here, just engaging your glutes in warrior two. Notice how that aligns the body without having to do anything to the torso. The engagement of the glutes draws everything into alignment above the hips. Lengthen through your right leg and your inhale turn so that the toes are parallel to the left, hands to hips. And you're allowing the fingers to interlace with the low back, breath in, exhale, bow, and rinse, shoulder. Always separate the hands, utilizing a strap or a tie. Follow the breath in. Watch the breath out. Follow the breath in. Watch the breath out. Two more breath in. Breath out. Each time, is there a little bit more room in the shoulders? Without force. On your next inhale, rise all the way up. Release the bind, turn left toes, face the back of the mat, warrior two on the left. Engaging glutes. Notice that action on the inner groin, the adductors. Soften the jaw and unclench your toes.
so you can rise all the way up on your inhale, turn toes on the left, hands to hips, breath in. And exhale, fold all the way down. This time, reaching for your big toes with your index and middle fingers, drawing yourself down. If you'd like to get a little playful here, you can let the hands come down and lift all the way up into a tripod of stand. It's your morning. have lifted, make that transition back down to earth, lengthening spine and tiptoeing your hands towards the right foot, left foot joins top of the mat, halfway lift, and fold. Root to rise all the way up, follow the breath all the way down. Halfway lift, fold, hands down, feet step back, Downward facing dog. Feel free to add a vinyasa. On your inhale, allow it to lift the left leg. Same idea, opening and squaring. Opening and squaring. Focus, right hand. Let the left foot come down, roll back forward, plank pose, drop onto your forearms again, forearm plank. Soaking the fire a little bit. Throw your feet in a little bit more. Dolphin pose. Great for the upper back. And not on the mat. Neck long. Press your forearms into the mat. Your hands down, dog. Right leg up to the sky. Right knee towards right wrist, setting up for half pigeon. This can be tackled on your back. Just dropping in, and drawing your right knee, right ankle around with your left knee. Dropping it. Stay with this. I'll just be demoing with an inversion on the back, the knees are bent, and the drawing that left thigh towards us. Left coming in. I'm going in up. Left coming in. Here on your belly, gently make your way up, drag it back, come to seated. Swing the left foot all the way around to the outside of the right thigh. Gentle seated spinal twist. It's early. It's just drawing that left knee to you, towards you is enough. If you really are feeling open, you want to use that elbow as a bit of a Okay. 
to turn towards the left here. Can the belly have the sense of drawing light? And then we'll look forward, Navasana boat. Shins parallel to the floor, or lift all the way up. Draw the knees and ankles towards you. Keep a wide stance with your feet so it's a little bit like this. Inhale, seated out, exhale. Yeah. We're ready for the other side. Left shin comes towards parallel, right leg behind. Pigeon, or again, dropping onto the back. Dropping in. I'm doing a warm up for each part of the body that's going to be utilized. So left foot is if you're standing on it. One more breath. Me back on for our hands and can you see that is that right leg swings all the way around. See the spinal twist on this side. Pulse spine on your inhale. Exhale twist. The chest moving towards the right. The belly moving towards the left. Out. And out. It's that simple. In. And out. Go forward. Back to Navasana boat. Because every day involves a little bit of something we don't like. A low boat, which is among my least favorites. Make sure you're taking care of your low back. Back to boat. To low. Modifications. Hands down. You can just be right here. Two more. Draw the knees into the chest and roll onto your back. If you have a strap handy or you can grab a handy tie, any sort of thing might be helpful here if you lay all the way down. Both the knees into the chest. Keep the right knee long and either reach for that right toe with your, with your fingers or use your strap. Resetting the low back and the pelvis here. Draw your right toes down towards your face. And open that leg out to the right. Lifting the leg, the hands across the body. 
not too far. Right hip in line with right shoulder, step on the gas with that right foot, really lighting up the glute, neck, the anus, and back through center, gentle bend in the right knee, half happy baby. Okay, so we're ready for the other side. As that left leg is lifted, keep the right foot active, left the right leg, as if you're still standing on it. And then open that leg out. As the leg comes out to the left, your gaze might shift over your right shoulder. Notice how the body is beginning to relax and unwind. Breathe leg up, take it across the body. This particular series excellent for low back issues. And guess that left foot right through here. Sensation. Breathing the leg up. And drawing that left knee down towards you. Half up the baby. Take the leg up. Lower the left leg. Setting up for Shavasana. If there's any last minute poses that the body is requesting, honor that. And if your body prefers different shape in Shavasana, Knees bent. Find that. Wishing you a beautiful rest of your day. Wishing you peace. Honoring the place where we are all one, I bow to you. Namaste.